No, Ciro knows what they're doing. They're designers, dude. So you're probably thinking about installing a Ciro 3D Latitude tail light and license plate holder. You've def, def, definitely come to the right place. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erdocker here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. This is a very exciting product from Ciro 3D. It is a uh, replacement for your bulky stock Harley signals back here. It turns them into LED, they're a lot sleeker, and it has a very nice curved license plate frame. And don't forget, you wanna wrench on your own motorcycle, save money, be part of the number one online biker community. Every time that subscribe button, bell icon, or hit, another biker joins the revolution. And the nice thing about the Ciro 3D Latitude Kit is it is completely plug and play like all the Ciro 3D stuff. We're gonna make it super easy for you. Later in this video, we're gonna show you how to install it. So you're probably wondering what models will this work with? So we sell two models in our store. One version is for 14 and up, the other is for 2010 to 2013. We sell them in chrome or black. And the models this will work on is all of your street glides and road glides within the specified years and your Road King specials. For further fitment information, hit the link in the description below. All that is listed in our store. And the Ciro 3D Latitude Kit completely replaces the rear lighting on those specified models and years. It's run, turn, and brake and a really nice sleek look. And if you appreciate this video and all of our free tutorial videos, please support us. Shop for your Ciro 3D products right in our online store. That's lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Link will be in the description below. We appreciate your support. And with that said, what do you say we show you how to install this? So the first thing we're doing is just, uh, we gotta remove both saddlebags so we have access and just remove your quarter turn pins or bolts, whatever you have on your saddlebags there and get them out of the way. We have a Titan lift here and a Titan mini jack. You can do this on the floor, but it is gonna be much easier if you have a lift and a mini jack like this, uh, just to give you access so you don't have to lay on the floor. We gotta get up underneath the rear fender here, which is uh, why we're trying to drop the back wheel so that we can get our hands up in there a little more. We're not actually gonna take the wheel off, but it will just uh, drop the suspension a bit, give us a little more room. We do sell these Titan lifts, love them. We have them in our store, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Link in the description below if you wanna get hooked up with one. Okay, and so we're moving up underneath the rear of the bike. It'll be the same on your street glide or road glide. There's just a couple tabs there you see that he's popping. And that removes a cover that basically covers some of your wiring. All right, and so we're gonna move up underneath the fender and remove a bolt back there. And it is a 7 16 box end wrench that he's gonna use. All right, and you can see with a 7 16 inch box end wrench, he's up on the bolt to reference that. That's on the inside of your rear fender. On the outside is a black plug. That's how you can reference and it goes through. It's basically just a wire organizer and you won't be able to get the other uh, closed end of the wrench around it because there's it, it, it just doesn't work. So he's gonna use a box end and he's gonna start taking that off. Again, 7 16 is what he's working on there. And of course, if you really wanted, you could drop your whole rear tire and wheel. Uh, we do have a free video on this channel. I'll try to link to it in the description below. But uh, we're gonna try to do it without dropping the rear wheel to shave some time. All right, and that's all Lurch is working on right now. With his wrench, is just getting that one bolt off the inside. And you can see where his finger is. That's directly the other side, that rubber plug, basically. All right, and once you get it out far enough, um, you can see we backed it out a little bit. Now he can actually get a socket on it and he's just gonna continue backing it out and this makes it a lot easier. And just to get it started, you'll probably need a box end wrench, but he'll just back it off the rest of the way there. All right, and he's just finishing off with his fingers there you can see. And there it goes and there's a washer on it too. There we go and he pulled it off there. That's just the uh, wire organizer. All right, and so there's two more half inch nuts uh, on the back side and to give you reference they're on the inside of the fender but one will be there there's a stud that goes through and there's another stud that goes through right there and again 
nuts on the back side that we're going to access. So now we're going to have to move up underneath and get on the inside of this fender to access those two uh, nuts. All right, and you can see he's actually got a, able to get a socket on there. Doesn't have a lot of wiggle room, but uh, he's just working on one of those. Again, half inch is what you want up in there. All right, and so Lurch is just supporting the tail light and signal assembly, the stock one, while Big Daddy here continues to work up underneath the fender and get that second bolt out of there. All right, and he got it mostly done there, just finishing it off, taking it off with his fingers there. All right, and this is the actual bolt when you get it done out of the backside there, it actually, you can see it's a bolt and it actually threads into the tail light assembly. All right, now we need to actually unplug the wires. There's kind of a box back here, but you can see there's just a tab there that you can just loosen with a screwdriver and pops right out like that. All right, now that we have that wire harness unplugged, this whole stock assembly will pull right out. All right, and we're gonna remove the seat here because we need to access the wiring underneath it. Some have a thumb screw or just a Phillips on the back and then just slide it back and that gives us access to all the rear wiring. All right, so this comes in your kit with your zero latitude lights and uh, we'll show you the rear of it here. There's just some things you wanna situate. These wires, just make sure they kinda go straight down like that and then we're gonna take this rubber seal and uh, it has a little trough in it, you can see. He's pointing to it with his thumb. That actually is for the wires so make sure you flip that upside down and run those wires through the little channel there. And then he's simply gonna place this on the back fender here and it comes with new bolts, same holes we took the other ones out, and he's just gonna reach up underneath the fender and at least get it finger started. All right, so now he's got those uh, studs at least finger started, so that's sitting up there. The wire comes out of it, you can see, and he's got that in his hand. Now he's got the actual license plate frame, so he's gonna run that wire up. There's a little channel, this rubber piece already comes on this license plate mount, and run it right through like so, and he's just gonna pull all the excess slack out there. All right, once he pulls the slack out, the rest of that goes through the stock hole there in the fender, and it'll just feed all that through. And he's just pulling it all through there, and that will get situated right up there like that. All right, and once you get all your wiring fed through and everything, he just comes, the kit comes with this bolt. For now, he's just gonna feed that through. There is some hardware that goes on the other side of it, but that kind of gets everything in place for you. Okay, because it's hard to show you guys up underneath the fender, we're gonna show you out here kind of how this hardware goes. So that was the bolt. He kind of just stuck in the, the uh, license plate holder portion here. That comes with your kit. So the way this goes is the bolt's gonna go through that spacer that he just put on is gonna be on the back side, the wheel side of your fender. So that spacer comes in your kit first, then this black plate and situate it like so. It will go there and then there's a nut that will go. And again, we've gotta kind of do this all blind up underneath the fender. It will sit in there like so, and then that smaller hole, we will use the stock bolt and nut. That was the bottom one is just the wire guide where it kind of uh, 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 just secures the wires underneath there. And, and again, we'll use the stock bolt for that. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing here. So that's exactly what Lurch is working on. He put his bolt through. He's putting his spacer on the back side along with that plate and then getting the, uh, the nut started on that, on that on the inside of the fender. Kind of got to do it by feel is what he's doing. Okay, and there you go. That's what it looks like on the back side. You can see he's got the nut spacer on there, the plate, and then the bolt, the stock bolt through the bottom there. All right, and again, this was the stock wire guide that we took off. We're going to reuse it. Just goes around the uh, new tail light wiring there. And then we're going to put it up underneath, and that stock bolt is underneath there. And we'll use the stock nut. All right, and you can see up in there, he's got the wire guide and the nut started and he'll just finish it off with that 7 16 wrench. All right, and so what Lurch is working on up underneath the fender here is just like your stock one, the replacement one, it's just two studs. Well, it comes with the bolts. If you're wondering what size they are, they're half inch and they have lock washers on them. He's actually able to get a half inch socket up in there. So you should be able to get that up there too. And he's just gonna tighten those down tight, maybe another quarter turn. Of course, if you wanna use some Loctite or something, you can do that. Uh, he'll just get those secured down. All right, and of course we finger started the wiring guide, the stock wiring guide up underneath there with the 7 16 wrench and that's uh, what he's tightening then down now. So now what uh, Lurch is working on, it's half inch. And again, this license plate frame part comes with that bolt. It's got hardware on the other side. He's able to get a socket up in there, but it's really the only thing that holds the license plate part. So you wanna make sure that you kind of hold it, make sure it's centered uh, so it looks good after you get it tightened down. 
Again, probably just uh, tight, maybe another quarter turn up underneath there and should hold just fine. All right, so what Rick's doing, of course he has the wire. It's uh, fairly lengthy for a reason because it's got to go up underneath the seat. Running it is you know, really up to you how you want to do it. We're going to show you how we're going to do it. He's kind of going to run it up around here under the seat and we'll zip tie it in place. But uh, we will show you how we did it. But a lot of it, you can see he's going up underneath there and he's going to pop it up underneath the seat. Again, pretty much up to you on how you want to do that. All right, and you can see he just ran it up underneath there. Again, completely up to you, but I uh, wanted to show you how we're doing it. And it's up underneath the seat right where we need it now. All right, and he's still just working on this. The kit comes with a bunch of black zip ties and we're just following the stock wiring that already runs up here and he's just zip tying the new serial wiring and following that all the way up. All right, and he just ran the wiring right up there. Of course, we took the side cover. It follows the stock wiring he's showing you there. And there's our, uh, where we brought it out from the seat. All nice and neat. And he's just popping his side cover back on with the rubber grommets there. There we go. So this will come in your Zero 3D Latitude kit. It's a splitter basically. It's really simple. We're gonna show you how to do it. It's got uh, two ends that are similar to the stock plugs. They are exactly like the stock plugs in fact. All it allows us is to have this additional plug off of it and we will end up plugging the rear lighting into that. So what you're looking for underneath your seat is a gray and black plug. We want to deal with the black one. He's going to go ahead and push the tab on the top and simply unplug that. Now he's going to get his splitter that comes in the kit and it's all plug and play. You can only do it one way. Plug it right in between the two plugs that you just took apart. Make sure you hear the click so it snaps together. And again, it only goes one way. It's got little wings up there. You heard it click. So there we go. We've just split the stock rear lighting plug. It's that simple. Now we've got the additional plug up there. That's the one coming from the rear latitude lighting. He's got a little dielectric grease that comes with your kit. He'll put that in there. And then we've got that new plug coming off. And again, it only goes one way. And he'll wait for the click there. And there you go. And then wire management is pretty much up to you if you want to zip tie that or button it down. Uh, again, completely up to you on how you want to do that. It's that simple. All right, we're done under the seat. We've got them all hooked up. He's just going to slide his seat back on there. Just make sure you get the front tongue slid up underneath there. And again, in the back, we've just got the one Phillips. Sometimes it may be a thumb screw. Just get that button down. All right, and so we're just taking that stock cover that kind of covers everything and protects it back there. And it just kind of snaps back into place. Make sure the tabs are snapped in like so. All right, so just because we want to show you this, um, this is the, the cover that comes with the latitude, the license plate goes over the plate. You can see we found it's exactly curved and you can use the same if you have a five gallon propane tank, it's the same exact curvature because we're gonna to need to bend the license plate so that it fits in there. So he's got his stock license plate and he's just gonna use the curvature of that propane bottle, make sure it fits nice. He's just manipulating it there, you can see. And once he gets a good fit, that's gonna fit in that new cover real nice. And to make sure we got a nice bend there on that propane tank, he's setting it up there and fits like a glove. Okay, and as we're going along here, we are cleaning, because we got fingerprints and everything, bug slide guys. That's what we use it as our number one go-to a waterless motorcycle cleaner. It will clean all that stuff off. It will put a protective coat over your paint, your chrome, um, works on denim paint, all that kind of stuff, whatever you want to clean. And we do have it in stock. We sell the crap out of that stuff. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Link in the description below will get you hooked up with some. All right, so this is the license plate frame. Basically goes over the top of your plate that comes with your kit. It has two tabs up top. You'll see he's pointing to them there. Those will hang over the top. It's got two slots up at the top. So that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna put his plate in. And he'll put the cover right over the top there. I'll make sure those tabs are hanging nice up top. And then we've got a set screw right at the bottom. Of course, you could put some Loctite on that if you want. And that comes with your kit. And it just screws right up underneath the bottom here. He's gonna get it finger started. All right, and he's just finishing that off with a 9 64ths hex head wrench. All right, and he's just finishing tight. Just a quarter turn's probably fine on that. There you go, completely installed Zero 3D Latitude brake and tail light license plate frame everything. 
All right, so we want to show you what these uh, new Zero 3D Latitude lights look like. This is what it uh, looks like, obviously, without the ignition on. He'll go ahead and fire the ignition on. These are going to be your running lights. Of course, they're all red. You see the white LED light that uh, shines down over your plate. And he's going to go ahead and hit brakes for you. These are super, super bright LEDs. You'll definitely get noticed uh, with the uh, cars following you behind. Go ahead and hit the right signal. Show you what that looks like. And then left signal. And there you go, that is the new Ciro 3D Latitude lights installed on the rear and license plate frame. Close up of your fingernails, could you get a pedicure please? He's gonna push and pull it. The black one, you push the tab and then pull. Matt, do it again. Look how easy it is. He's just burning you, dude. Just, just jabbing you. Rick's out, he can't get the stock plug undone. <laughs> You're in 4K though, you look cool. Stop. And don't forget before you leave, subscribe. Also hit that bell icon. Each time those buttons are hit, another biker joins the revolution. I hope you're well, and I definitely hope you, you, you are out there getting some riding in.